Hi, I'm Jay Haskamp, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going to look at the process of uploading firmware to the Trimble R10 via the web user interface and Wi-Fi. There are several advantages to using this method. One is it's a quick and easy way to update your Trimble R10, especially when you're in the field. Two, it eliminates the need for using a cable to do the update, so this can help bypass some IT restrictions or maybe trouble loading drivers and so on. And lastly, it can be done with any laptop or even with the Trimble tablet. Now, let's take a look at how this process works. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is check the current version of firmware loaded on our R10, and we're going to use this using Trimble Access. So in general survey, we first need to connect to the receiver by going to Instrument, GNSS functions, and I'm just going to choose rover mode to connect to the receiver via cable. Once connected, I can escape out of this screen and go back to instrument and receiver settings. And when I pick receiver settings on the first page, I can see the current version of firmware. You can see that this R10 is currently at version 5.00. We also need to make sure our Wi-Fi is on by picking the Wi-Fi soft key and choosing access point. Now this will turn the Wi-Fi on on the receiver, however in order for this to work we actually need to turn the receiver off and then turn it back on. The next time it boots up the Wi-Fi will be enabled. Now that the Wi-Fi is enabled we should see it as an available access point in our list. It will be Trimble, GNSS and then the last four digits of the serial number. Once we connect, we're just going to choose that it's a public network. Again, you can see here's the name. We're going to hit close. Now the next step is to open up your internet browser and type in the IP address of 192.168.142.1. You'll now be prompted to put in a username and password. By default, the username is admin, and the password is the word password. And this can be changed later on. Once we log in, we will see the user web user interface for the R10. After we pick firmware on the left, we'll see our current date and version. We're going to pick choose file. And now we're going to browse out to find the firmware we want to upload on our computer. Here we're going to upload the version 5.01. It's important to use the TIMG file. And now we pick install and we will probably see a message just warning you that it's going to erase any files stored on the receiver. So we can hit OK and now the upload will begin. I just want to make note that I have sped up this process for the purpose of making this video. However, the overall process takes around five minutes to complete and once it's finished you will see in the next screen that it'll basically reboot the R10 and we will need to reconnect to it. Once the upload is complete, the receiver will have to reboot itself, and when it's rebooted, we can reconnect back to the Wi-Fi, and we may need to hit reconnect on the button in the upper left-hand corner. And once we do that, we will get back into the web UI for the R10. We can go back to firmware, and then just double check that we have indeed put the version that we desire on. So here you can see 5.01. And as a last check, we are also going to open up Trimble Access, go to General Survey, and then once we're in General Survey, we'll pick Instrument GNSS Functions, connect back to our rover, and once connected, we'll hit Escape, Instrument, Receiver Settings, and here you can see again we've confirmed that we are now at version 5.01. And that concludes our tech talk on uploading firmware to the R10 through the web UI and Wi-Fi. Uh, we hope that you found this tech talk beneficial and will join us again next time. Thank you.